I'm looking to fight Spence because, you know, they got something to offer. I'm looking at them trying to use Sean as pawn. Sean, he wouldn't fight anybody. If I do too good, they might back up even more. <laughs> you know? I'm the one that's calling out these fighters, and these fighters created a street because of me. You have never heard nobody else say, oh, well, he's on the wrong side of the street until it came to Terrence Crawford. Quiet is kept, and truth be told. Terrence Bud Crawford, for a man at 147 pounds, welterweight division, is the only man that I have seen since the times of this very fear individual. He is the only one I've seen that has matched his aura. Terrence Bud Crawford, as far as fear of fighting him and, de and defeating opponents before they get inside the ring or just being avoided, I have not felt an era like that since Mike Tyson. Terrence Bud Crawford has Mike Tyson type of aura. As far as, if you can remember him at his peak when he was truly one of the most feared men in boxing the most feared man in boxing at the welterweight division and even a couple even a couple divisions up Terrence Bud Crawford has that type of form and I haven't seen nobody since Mike Tyson since then I haven't seen nobody except Terrence Bud Crawford and that's my honest opinion on it. When, when I look back on it, and I'm seriously thinking, who had that type of, it's, it's obvious so many people don't want it with this guy. People, <laughs> he, not in the, he not even in a division, <laughs> and they don't want it with him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They hear about him coming up, and they shut that down. You know? And from cats, that's really about that. Who do you want next? Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm chill on my range. I just buy the range. I got a couple of horses. I'm gonna get some more horses. Get some chickens, uh, some more cows. The only person I know that has matched that type of aura in my time that I was able to see is Terrence Bud Crawford. I have never seen nothing like this since then. And I've never been able to really witness it like that because at the time, you know, I was, I was still real young. Who, ducking him? Yeah, he ducking him. Absolutely, he dug him. Talked to somebody last month. You couldn't be okay, you can call. Okay. You know? And uh, I said, yeah, I said, oh, yeah, we can take him in a heartbeat, just like that. I've been calling for these fights. If Bud wanted that fight, would you would you give it to him? Who? If Bud wanted that fight, would Pacquiao would you give it to him? If Pacquiao wanted the fight, but Pacquiao's turned down the fight a few times. When I tell you, somebody who got the whole boxing world shook. Yeah, y'all take that. He ducking Terrence Crawford. Dog. You talking about Terrence Bud Crawford. He don't want to fight Terrence Crawford. You not talking about Terrence Bud Crawford. Please tell me somebody else that matched the type of aura. That I'm talking about. Tell me, I'm telling you that right now. I'm not saying it don't exist. I'm not saying it ain't somebody else out there. I'm saying when I glaze through my roll of decks of boxing and all the people I know and the reputation and stuff like that, Deontay Wilder, yeah, he, he you know, for 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 heavyweight, he got that. People are weary of his power, you know, and I'm gonna say this. Before and after uh, the Tyson Fury fight. Deontay Wilder is still a problem. He is still a threat. Everybody knows that. But as far as scary, 
Like people truly terrified to get in the ring with this guy. Deontay Wilder ain't got that. Tank Davis ain't got that. I don't know anybody else who truly has that. Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. Yeah. No, that fight's not happening right now. In this day and time. But Terrence Bud Crawford. It was just something that was on my mind. Because when I think about it, I was like, man, I ain't never seen so many people duck. I mean, honestly, Terrence Bud Crawford, boxing time and boxing era to me, reminds me exactly of Marvin Hagler. To me, it mirrors Marvin Hagler so much, it's almost crazy. You know, but they really mirror to me. And if you know anything about Hagler, you already know what I'm talking about. But, uh... And once again, what they say about Hagler. Okay, uh, Like, what is that big roadblock? Because I, I feel that's what the fans really want to see. No, what fans? Be problems. He was a southpaw. He was good. And he was black. Uh, boxing fan. No. Anyways, that's my thoughts on this. We thought some conversation just ran in my mind.